Hello everyone, welcome to the Smart Life. Today I am excited to share with you a tutorial to upgrade the Xiaomi X3600 router from Chinese to the global firmware. Recently they released the Xiaomi X3600 globally and now we have got the global firmware. This firmware has multiple languages including English, Spanish and so many other languages. So it'll be good to upgrade. The router that I have here is the Chinese version and it came with the Chinese firmware. So in this video, I'll show you how to make an upgrade. The link to download the firmware is given in the video description. So you can download it from there. And in the video, I'll also check whether I can configure a mesh network with the Redmi AX6 router that I have here. The Redmi AX6 has the Chinese firmware. So I need to check whether they are compatible with each other. I have already reviewed this Mi AX3600 as well as the Redmi AX6 in my channel. So please check out the reviews for the functions of these routers. Now let's go to the web interface and try to upgrade the firmware of the AX3600. First you connect to the router. So now I have connected to the router and you can go to miwifi.com and you can enter your admin password and login and you can go to the second tab in the second tab go to the last menu the i menu you can also translate so that menu is for system upgrade and other things so you can click on manual upgrade and select the file that you have downloaded from my video description and you can click start upgrade to change the firmware from chinese to the international version now it is currently upgrading and you can see that the router system indicators will change color this upgrade will take around five to eight minutes so we have to wait patiently so now the router is restarting and the system indicator has turned orange now it has restarted and it has turned blue even the internet indicator has turned on so now you can reconnect to your router and you can also translate this page if you have internet access you can go to miwifi.com or you can wait for it to refresh automatically so no need to wait just go to miwifi.com and leave and it seems the language has not changed yet but you need to change it from the settings so don't worry log into the web interface and you can go to the second tab and again go to i here you can select the language this is the language menu and you can select english here and there are so many other languages as well as you can see here so it supports a lot of languages so for me i'll select english and you can select any other language and now you can see that the system has changed the language from chinese to english and if you can go to status here also you can see that everything has been changed to english so now if you log out and log in again so everything has been changed to English and this new firmware has the mesh functionality. The stock international firmware that came with the international version of the AX3600 did not have the mesh functionality but this new firmware has the mesh function so that is good. So I'll check whether I can configure the mesh networking function with this router with the international firmware with another Xiaomi Wi-Fi 6 router that has a Chinese firmware. So for setting up the mesh function, I need to reset the Redmi AX6 router right here. So click on the reset button using a SIM ejector tool or any other tool until it resets here. The system indicator should turn orange. Okay, it has turned off and now it will become orange as you can see. So wait for it to turn blue. Now the system indicator has turned blue. So let's try to add the mesh node from the Mi Wi-Fi app. So go to mesh networking device and here you can click on add and click set. So it's searching for mesh nodes. Now it has found the Redmi AX6 router. So click on that one and you can select the room and next and it is connecting to the mesh node. So this may take some time. Now you can see that the mesh network has been successfully configured. You can check the internet indicator and the system indicator. Both are blue, so that is good. And you can finish and you can check the mesh network equipments here. So this is the AX6 and the connectivity is wireless uh, 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. And you can also remove this device from the app. So that's how we configure the mesh network. So it seems that the mesh network is compatible between the international version of the firmware as well as the Chinese version of the firmware. So there is no issue in that. And the main thing is that the Xiaomi AX3600 that I have here is the Chinese version with the Chinese hardware. And the international firmware that is recently released comes with the international version of the AX3600. But it seems both are compatible. Unlike the Huawei AX3 or the AX3 Pro routers, those are not compatible with each other. And there are some differences in the hardware between the Chinese and the international version. But that is not the case here. I hope that in the future, if they release the international version of the Mi AX1800 router or the Redmi AX5 or Redmi AX6 routers, I think all of them will be compatible with each other. And even the mesh network is still compatible between these routers. So that is quite good 
and I appreciate Xiaomi for this kind of uh, compatibility uh, unlike Huawei. Now let's uh, do a quick uh, speed test to see if there is any difference in the performance of the router after the upgrade. Okay, now it's connected and the download speed was 458 Mbps. So that is quite normal and the uh, upload speed is 173 Mbps. So that is also normal and I don't think there is any difference between the Chinese and the international version of this firmware. And the good thing about the international version is that it has multiple languages. So it has English as well as so many other languages like Spanish and Dutch. It also has a Chinese language. So that is quite good. You can select the languages from the web interface of the router. And one more thing that's good is that when you upgrade the firmware from your Chinese version to the international version, the settings will not change. You don't need to reconfigure the router. All your previous settings will remain. So that is important and good thing. Speaking of the international version, I think many of the vendors are selling this router for a quite high price if the, it has the global firmware. But I don't think you need to go for that. You just buy the cheapest one even if it is Chinese or global and just upgrade the firmware by yourself. And it is quite easy as I have shown you. You don't need to waste extra money for the global version. Please note that. And I'll put my affiliate links in my video description. So if you want to buy the AX3600, you can buy from there and it will support my channel. I hope you like this tutorial and please subscribe to my channel and kindly like this video and share it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.